Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. The ambassador of Bahrain to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, said that Bahrain considers public health a matter of national security and treats the security and safety of the citizens and residents of the kingdom with utmost importance. The statement of Bahrain's ambassador was made in an interview about innovative governmental efforts in combating the coronavirus with Nasdaq trade talks. With a population of only 1.5 million people, Bahrain has already tested 50% of the population. Uh, we are the world's second, we have the world's second highest percentage of testing per, per 1,000 persons. We have the highest regional recovery rate of 93%. And our, morta our mortality rate is one of the lowest, reaching 0.36%. So the chances of death caused by COVID in relations to the population is 0.01%, which is substantially less than uh, the global average. If we were to look at it from an, from an innovative perspective and how innovation can be the driver to uh, many solutions today, I think that we've dealt with it very early on. We have intervened very early on to mitigate the effects of the virus. And uh, as it is, weeks before the discovery of the first case in February, the government formulated a task force led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and immediately we saw mobile testing units that were collecting samples of different communities, and it evidently ranked Bahrain as having one of the highest tests per million people. Domestically, what we have done is, like I said, we've established this war room to coordinate government uh, actions. And there, there are daily task, task force meetings, uh, senior leadership pitch in twice a week, policies were established and they're reviewed on a regular basis. Uh, we, we did launch an international repatriation program to ensure the safety, uh, the safe return of our citizens back home. Uh, we fulfilled 96% of that. Uh, His Majesty the King has uh, ordered the free treatment of all COVID-related patients, be they citizens or expats and residents in Bahrain. Following directives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and under the direct supervision of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Bahrain today dispatched its first consignment of urgent humanitarian relief aid to Lebanon to help in the ordeal and alleviate the suffering of the Lebanese people in the aftermath of the massive blast which rocked the capital Beirut. Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, Dr. Mustafa Al Sayed, stated that His Majesty the King had assigned the foundation to undertake the operation to extend the lifeline to the brotherly Lebanese people, consisting of the necessary medical material desperately needed by the Lebanese people. Dr. Asayed noted that the relief aid consignment includes a delegation to assess the real effective needs on the ground before dispatching other consignments. Dr. Asayed said that the delegation includes youth who will visit the blast-hit areas, assess the needs, and deliver relief and support to pain-stricken Lebanese people. The Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation underlined that Bahrain's efforts to deliver relief aid pursuant to the directive of His Majesty the King reflect the deep-rooted humanitarian values and pivotal regional and international role. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,786 with 369 recoveries, 375 registered new cases and two deaths. The deceased are an 84-year-old Bahraini woman and a 53-year-old expatriate man. This takes the total number of fatalities to 158 in the kingdom. The Ministry of Health expressed its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased. It also urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirms the importance of following instructions, such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and the mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible.